and I think that this one said 61. So let's do a little bit of math and we'll know how steep of a road we'd have in an ideal situation. Sometimes on a driveway like this, people ask you to make their driveway less steep. So using the drone here, I can tell you exactly in the ideal situation how steep of a driveway you could have. So we know we went up 62 feet and we flew 423 feet. If we do a little bit of math, we can figure out how steep the driveway will be in an ideal situation. And for those wondering how to make a squared symbol on a keyboard, you hold down Alt, hit 2, 5, 3, and then let go, and you have squared. And um, there's all kinds of symbols and things you can do by holding down Alt and using a number keypad. There's a list on the internet. All right, well, I'm kind of coming up with 14.7% as a slope. Nobody asked me to do this. I was just kind of demonstrating how the drone can be used to easily measure distance and elevation for stuff like this. So if someone wants to double check my math or something here in the comments, that would be great. All right, I'm on this job here today. The plan is to fix this driveway. So it, it comes up a hill pretty steep and it's not in very good shape. But I did just make it up in my dump truck, which is two-wheel drive, towing a bulldozer. But I got to add, I barely made it. So the uh, plan is here to try to improve this driveway. So let's take a walk down it and talk about what I'll do in each spot of it. So there's a few issues here. One, the nice thing, I won't need to bring in any material because this is already, everything here is all nice gravelly shale, which is good. But the, the problems are the water just kind of runs down the center of it. And it kind of seems like at some point someone dug a little bit of a drainage ditch on the uphill side here, but it's in some areas it's filled in and the, uh, the water isn't running in it. So that needs to be dug out deeper so I'll use the bulldozer to try to cut that in so I'll cut a ditch in in this area right here and continue the ditch down the entire thing and then the plan will be to smooth out the area where you drive on and maybe try to crown it a little bit so the water doesn't run down the center of where you drive so I'll, I'll push this tree off to the side looks like we're on some ledge here hopefully I can get through it And this spot here, that, that needs to be filled in quite a bit. I'm pretty surprised I made that, but but you can see where the water runs right here. And it's just been digging this hole right out. Really, the water needs to be, you know, we're a little narrow in here, but there's enough room. But really, the water needs to be all the way over to this side. All right, you can see what the water's doing. So here we are at the bottom. You can see the water was running right in that area right there and then crossing over diagonally and then digging this out right here so there is a culvert pipe in here but it doesn't start gee actually it's way up here I don't know if I can oh, the... alright so there is a culvert pipe but it's way up here you know just past that pile of leaves all right, so the plan is to keep the water on the on the uphill side on the right side here and make it down all the way into this culvert pipe without crossing the road. But I'm kind of questioning a little bit how that's going to work because it would almost have to run uphill for here for a while. So really he needs a, another culvert pipe from from this section right on this bend here straight across to there. You know, maybe I can make this work. Maybe I'll fill in this area quite a bit right here and, and try to make that water make it to this pipe right in here, just between those two signs.
All right, so I just finished up fixing up this driveway. So let's go for a quick walk down it and just check it out. So this is about where it needed it needed work after this point was okay, but so what I did here on the whole thing was I, you know, just dug out on the left side and then just smoothed out the spot where you drive. So now any rainwater should stay off to the side on the left and won't run across the driveway and dig trenches through it. So the bulldozer worked really well. You know, I was able to rip in pretty much everything. Having a ripper on the back of it would probably be pretty cool because you could really dig into some of this rock, but I was able to get most of it with the corner of the blade. You know, there's a couple spots where I would have liked to be a drop deeper, but you know, it's it's down to bedrock anyway, so the, the water's not going to dig a trench through that, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, like, yeah, for example, like right here, but I still think the water's going to be on the left anyway, so it'd be alright. I bet you with an excavator, you could come in here and probably peel some of this up. But I bet you it's fine the way it is, so. You know, that, that wasn't, the budget didn't allow for two machines to come here, so. This is what, what it is. But it's, this is a lot better than it was. So this is a lot wider in this spot right here. So a heavy rain will tell, but I think I got this pretty good. So when you get a heavy rain, the water running down the left of this should stay in this trench the whole time and make it into this culvert pipe. That's right in there. And then... And on this side, I filled that in quite a bit because that's where the water was running across and it had uncovered a few feet of the end of this pipe. So, you know, I built that wall there and got the driveway right up to the edge of it like it should be. I am back here during rain a lot of the focus on this roadway was to keep the water from running down the center of the driveway and jumping across it so you can see the water it's all it's running off to the side here and that's working pretty well you know there's nothing jumping across the driveway it's staying up on the high side here 
and it's going down and making it into this culvert pipe. That's good, that's exactly what I wanted to see. So having the road, so this should stay in good shape for a long time now because the water's not running down it and washing all the gravel away and, and carving out a big trench. And for those who were asking about t-shirts, I have more of these now. So that's the back front and I have small all the way up to 5XL. So here's a 5XL there. All right, so these are on eBay. I'll put the link in the description for these. All right, I'm back on that job, that one driveway I fixed last year. It's in pretty good shape. There's still no potholes in it. There's a few sections though where they're starting to form. Probably right here is a good example of that. But um, overall, it's in it's in good shape, and which is nice because this had been fixed a few other times by other people, and the potholes came back very quickly within a couple months. So for this one to have lasted over a year. It's nice. So what I'm here to do now is just resurface this with a little bit of stone to keep it in good shape again for another year. Alright, so this is looking good again. That's nice, cheap, easy maintenance.